I recently went to the John Engman Theater to see the musical Saturday Night Fever. Now, I love disco music. I love any dance music that's fun and festive and energizing and just lets me have a grand time. So I was ever so excited to see this production. I've never seen the movie, never seen the production before. And as soon as I saw that it was opening up on Thursday, I said, yes, I must go and I will see it. Now I enter the theater thoroughly excited. There was disco music playing in the lobby. My type of venue. I was geared up and ready to go. With that said, I am sadly quite disappointed in this production. The show opens up with the signature song, The Bee Gees Staying Alive. And as soon, a few seconds into the song, I'm like, ah, where are the cohesive harmonies? At that point, I done died in my seat. I just perished away and wanted to run away because I was not alive. I was indeed dead. And then as the show progressed, I had hopes that it would have gotten better, but the harmonies just got worse and worse. And I just did not know where I was and why I was encountering all of this anguish. I really had great hope. The choreo felt very static and stiff. Where was the swivel of the hip? Where was the melting of the body roll? The wigs confused me. One black actor had braids in and I'm thinking it's 1970. I don't understand why he has that on his head. And then one of the Caucasian actresses, she had an Afro curl wig, but like a contemporary Afro curl wig that I know was better suited for a black woman because I have one of them. So confused. Let's talk about the performance. I don't feel that they had a full understanding of who they were in the piece and what time frame they were in. I was so disappointed that even like scenes between the family and friends, no type of chemistry. I didn't believe anybody on the stage. Let's talk about some positives. Um, After I didn't run away because I had hopes deep in my bones that this show will get better. I endured past the intermission to give it a fair try. I will say that in the scenes that were just two individuals, um, like Tony and Stephanie or Tony, this is the main character and another character, it was a little bit better. Um, I suppose in those, those scenes, um, it was an intimate scene, so the actors were able to better interpret uh, whatever those lines were. I did enjoy a few scenes in the second half with Tony and the Stephanie characters. Um, that gave me a little bit of resuscitation, so I, at that point, came alive. Some of the songs that gave me a little bit of glimmer of hope um, was uh, I Can't Have You performed by the actress that played Annette. She did not perform it in the feel of the disco era. However, her vocals were very good and she executed her notes very well. So applause to you. Some of the songs that I enjoyed was Stuck. The characters Bobby, Tony, Stephanie, and Pauline sang that song. That was in the second half. And those harmonies came together better than all the other harmonies in the show. And um, I suppose they really had a good understanding of what that song was because they actually lived in that song. Other highlights for me was the actor Sheldon Steele who stole my heart on that stage. He was giving me all the life that brought me alive. He was giving me 70s swivel hip and gyration. He was giving me sass and flash. He was giving me all the silkiness of the 70s. Also who gave me nice sass and 70s flair was um actor and dancer Eduardo Ubre. I hope I said your name properly. Those two came life. The rest of the show was so jagged. The transitions rough, rough between the set pieces, the 
set transitions are supposed to be a dance, a melody that flows seamlessly on the stage, not a bumping into things, not a crashing into each other. What am I watching? I don't know. Oh, my heart truly hurts because they were working hard. They really were working extremely hard and I was so dissatisfied. Can this show get better? I sincerely hope so. It runs um, between now and September 1st. Is it worth you seeing? Sure, why not? If you are available one of those show days, go ahead and it will take you back um, to the 70s through the disco music that will evoke this nostalgia. But don't go if you are a true disco connoisseur because you will die in your seat as I did. <sighs> The best part of the show for me was the end. And not because it was the end and I was truly excited, but because the curtain call, they did a nice little rendition of all the disco hits they yeah. sang live. Um, more than a woman, disco inferno. But was it hot as the disco? No, it wasn't. And that's just one girl's opinion. And that's all Sugar has to say about that.